value lifestyle market yeah it's a fairly large uh, market now uh, this market uh, is estimated to be uh, in fy21 which is you know uh, last last year uh, by red sea at roughly around 88 billion us dollars and uh, they are saying that uh, this will be around 175 billion us dollars by fy26 those are the numbers from red sea report but very interestingly while the size of the market is huge okay. this market is divided into three components one is your your uh, regular mom and pop stores yeah second is organized yeah. retail and the third one of course is e-commerce now in this uh the largest component is the this the neighborhood mom and pop uh, stores uh, which are at around 75% of the market uh the organized retail is 17% and uh, the baby in the room is e-commerce which is at 8% yeah so it's very small now even organized retail is fairly small at 17% and both of them put together are at 25% and 75% is the traditional stores now this automatically means that uh, these two segments which is the organized retail and uh, the e-commerce uh, portions are the one ones which are likely to grow as we move forward the uh, transition to value uh, fashion uh, value lifestyle uh, to three years back yeah and uh, therefore our journey actually in effect in the snapdeal 2.0 version has started in the last 2 to 3 years growing uh, from that base we of course recast our base because uh, we were earlier selling mobiles and uh, you know consumer durables we stopped selling all that so now the force is we are focused on only uh, uh, you know value uh, lifestyle categories the growth journey is in these categories and it's been uh, quite uh, interesting because we have uh, grown uh, in terms of the number of uh, customers we have grown in terms of the number of people coming to our app we have also grown in terms of the number of uh, people who shop from us from the smaller cities so as we speak uh, you know almost uh, 72% of our customers are from smaller cities tier 2 and beyond we have uh, fashion within which we have menswear womenswear both ethnic and western and sarees uh, we have kids wear then we have uh, footwear uh we have uh along with this beauty and personal care uh, we sell uh foam both soft and hard uh we sell general soft merchandise uh, lots and lots of different kinds of general merchandise uh we do sell some amount of uh very uh, small consumer electronics like your you know wireless uh, earphones chargers mm. cables to so small small things which are part of lifestyle okay. category so we sell those as well so fairly large number of categories but all of these are in the area of uh, lifestyle we are using a lot of uh, data science ml and uh, ai in what we do uh, some of the uh, use cases are quite clear which is in terms of uh, the uh, the uh, as i told you uh, the 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 way it gauges uh, what would vaishnavi like to uh, you know see also uh, we are using a lot of that in terms of the communications notifications personalized ones specific ones that we are sending to you uh so that again does use a lot of uh, ml components of ai uh also uh, we are using uh, 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 some elements of this uh, in terms of uh, building our catalog itself efficacy of the catalog uh, you know what uh, what images are to be placed uh, where Uh, so a lot of lot of work that we do is in the area of figuring out for this, uh, you know, specifically uh, segment what works best. We have uh, got uh, a, a company subsidiary company called Stellaro Brands. So Stellaro Brands actually is a house of brands where okay. uh, we got uh, brands across fashion, footwear, uh, beauty and personal care, and home. uh and uh, these brands uh, we uh, would be selling across all the other platforms so uh, these are brands for example we have rangita in ethnic wear which is already we okay. launched a month two months back on amazon doing quite well in ajio uh, then there's a brand called urban mark which we have very recently launched uh, we have uh, urban mark is menswear women's western wear kids wear and footwear 
then okay. we have uh, we have a home brand called home tales which has just been launched on uh, on uh, amazon uh, we have a deodorant brand called nord a skincare brand called aragma so we've got seven of these uh, brands uh, which uh, we are in the process of uh, you know listing on the various other marketplaces brand has been growing quite well uh, as i said from the recast base that we had from our snapdeal uh, you know 1.0 to snapdeal 2.0 uh, the steps that we take essentially are uh, the inputs that we put on uh, the the uh, the journey for the customer which is what we do on our app and m site uh, the yeah. assortment which we want to make more and more relevant as we go forward to make the transactions much better and the experience much better for the customer we of course uh, use uh, a lot of uh, performance marketing and influencer marketing to acquire new customers but last not not the least uh, also don't forget because of our name we have a very large installed base of apps we have a very very large base of people who have got snapdeal app installed on their phones uh, so it also gives us the opportunity to tap that uh, segment by sending them notifications messages etc uh, so we using all these methods of both uh, customer service customer acquisition customer retention and customer experience uh, to to grow the business